What's up, guys? Big Bear City 7 back at you with a real quick video. Um, have had a very, very, very busy week um, with a lot of stuff going on. So, uh, coming at you late with these videos. Uh, I like to usually get these videos up the next day, um, but we're going to get them anyways. So, let's start off with you. C L A. That's right. They took on Colorado, um, and UCLA's defense showed up to play. Wow. Um, seven sacks. Um, just really looked good the whole game. Kept the game um, in, under control. Um, UCLA's defense has been really good this year, and I, that's something I've been really impressed with. And, you know, that's uncommon for a, uh, you know, with a Chip Kelly coach team, having a really good defense, that's really uh, helping you win a lot of these games. Um, but the offense showed up to play, too. Uh Garbers, huh. you know, and you know, I was, I was, I was really all about Moore, and and Moore's still young. And I still think he's going to be a, a factor on this team. But Garbers has come out to play. He's come out and looking a lot better than he did week one, and um, he had two touchdowns, uh, over two hundred yards passing, um, and uh, Boyd had uh, what was it, one hundred eleven yards off of seven receptions. So. Uh, the offense came out to play, too. Um, but it was a huge win against Colorado. And everybody knows how I've been feeling about Colorado. That whole media circus. And, and and I have nothing but respect for the man at home there at Colorado. I have nothing but respect for uh, Dion. But that media circus that came along with it made me want to beat them more than anything. And... Um, all the talk was about Dion. All the talk was about that team. All the talk was about all those transfers. And everybody started seeming like they were forgetting about the other teams in the Pac-12. And so when UCLA came along on Saturday and knocked Colorado off, yeah, I was pretty happy. Um, but I will continue to talk about the defense. I played defense in high school. I love the positions. Uh, I love the defensive side of the ball. I figured if I was ever to go into coaching, that's the side of the ball I want to coach on um, because I know defense. I love defense. And that's why I get excited about real good defensive battles. Um, you know, a few weeks ago when Utah UCLA had a defensive battle, a lot of people were like, this game was boring. It wasn't, it wasn't that much scoring, blah, blah, blah. Those games excite me because it's a true – testament to good defenses and when you get two good defenses going at each other <laughs> i don't care about the scoring i love watching that defense go at each other i will love watching the the defensive front get to the quarterback you put him under pressure i love seeing you know the cornerbacks get in there at the last second so i have no problem with that and this ucla defense is looking really really good so you know the couple losses on the record whatever uh, but I think UCLA can still fight for this uh, this Pac-12, uh, especially since they don't play. I don't think they play Oregon or Washington this year. So, um, unless, you know, champions here for whatever. But anyways, I'm loving it. Last year, the Pac-12 and um, UCLA coming at it with defense. So, let's go Bruins. Let's go on to the next one. Catch you all later. Peace.